Good evening. My name is Johnny Nobrega. So let's begin. Have you ever thought about a Dutch? Have you ever thought No. Yeah. Have you ever thought about a Dutch? Um, today I'm going to answer the question, how close can two people physically get? This question might sound simple, but it's quite complex. So, if I clap my hands and I ask you if they touched, your answer will be yes, but at an atomical level, the answer is no. So, let me give another example. I'm going to sit on the ground. That's why they moved that away. So, I'm sitting on the ground, but technically, however, I'm not touching the ground. I'm hovering above the ground, above some tiny, atomically-sized gaps. This is possible because my butt and the floor are made of atoms. But what are atoms? An atom is a nucleus surrounded by outer shells of orbiting electrons. When two electrons get close to each other, and they are not going to react, I drew this, by the way. <laughs> so, and they're not going to react, the electrons repel one another because they have the same charge. So, with this knowledge, it, I've crushed a number of our illusions. This means, think about it, we never actually kissed our girlfriend, we never held hands with the love of our life, or we never actually hugged someone. We never touched them, we never made contact with them. What we felt was the repulsive force of their <laughs> electrons. <laughs> but, so, why can we feel things? Why can we feel our hands? Why can we feel the chair? Simple, the nerves in our skin can detect this repulsive force. So, that was the sad part, okay? <laughs> I've got great news. So, the closest we can get to someone of to, or to something is by chemically reacting with it. But let's talk about chemical reactions. A chemical rea I told you that atoms don't touch each other. They don't but they get more close when they start sharing electrons. What you see here. Um, so this happens all the time when we eat food. Our body is constantly chemically reacting with the food to get all the good stuff out of it. So how can we get chemically reactionally close to someone? There's a thing called the creation of human life. When fertilization takes place, <laughs> I'm not going to tell what's, ha what's going to happen before that, but <laughs> anyway. So, when fertilization takes place, the DNA of your mother and your father are reacting in chemical ways to create you. In this process, they are sharing electrons. What I'm trying to say is that your parents and your children are the only people you know for sure you have come closest to touching. And that is emotionally touching. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>